Sarah checked into the old Meridian Hotel, a place she found online with a surprisingly cheap rate. The hotel, a once grand establishment now faded by time, had an air of neglected elegance. The lobby was dimly lit, the once opulent decor dulled by layers of dust and disrepair. The clerk, an elderly man with a somber expression, handed her the key to room 413, warning her with a cryptic, be mindful of the night. Her room, at the end of a long, eerily silent hallway, felt unnervingly cold. The antique furnishings and heavy velvet drapes seemed to swallow the light, casting deep shadows. As night fell, strange whispers echoed through the corridors, and the temperature in her room dropped inexplicably. Sarah tried to sleep, but was plagued by nightmares of being trapped in the hotel, pursued by unseen entities whispering her name. She awoke to find the room bathed in an unnatural, cold light, and the air filled with the scent of old, wilted flowers. Her attempts to turn on the bedside lamp failed. The electricity seemed to flicker and die at the whim of the shadows that danced along the walls. Feeling a growing sense of dread, Sarah decided to leave her room, but the door wouldn't budge. The whispers grew louder, more insistent, and a feeling of being watched crept over her. She turned to face the room, her eyes drawn to the mirror hanging opposite the bed, where a figure shrouded in darkness appeared to be standing right behind her. The lights flickered again, and the figure in the mirror seemed to move closer, its features obscured but its intent maliciously clear. Sarah, heart pounding, realized that the hotel and whatever resided within it had no intention of letting her leave easily. The story of the Meridian Hotel was far from a simple tale of neglect. It was a living, breathing entity. Its hunger for the souls of its guests, timeless and insatiable. As the figure in the mirror reached out, its touch cold and clammy like the grave, the room's temperature plummeted, and the shadows seemed to come alive, whispering secrets of the hotel's dark past, urging Sarah to look deeper, to understand the true nature of her prison. Paralyzed by fear, Sarah watched as the figure in the mirror stepped out into her room, the glass surface rippling like water. The room darkened further, the only light emanating from the figure itself, casting elongated shadows that twisted and writhed across the walls. The whispers coalesced into a single, clear voice, cold and commanding, revealing the figure as the embodiment of the hotel's sinister soul. The entity spoke of the Meridian Hotel's history, once a haven for the elite, but now a cursed place, feeding on the despair and darkness of its guests. Its once grand halls had witnessed unspeakable acts, each leaving an imprint on the hotel's essence, transforming it into a collector tormented souls. Sarah, her fear mingling with a surge of desperate courage, confronted the apparition, demanding a way out. A release from the nightmarish hold of the hotel, the entity, amused by her defiance, offered her a challenge. Unravel the mystery of the hotel's corruption by dawn, or remain its prisoner forever. As the entity faded into the shadows, the room's oppressive atmosphere lifted slightly, offering Sarah a narrow window of opportunity. She found her door unlocked, the hallway beyond stretching into darkness, the dim light flickering, 
as if beckoning her to follow. With no other choice, Sarah ventured into the hotel's labyrinthine corridors, each turn revealing glimpses of the building's tragic past. Rooms sealed behind rotting tapestries, their interiors untouched for decades, echoing with the remnants of past horrors. Grand ballrooms decayed and desolate, their air heavy with lost hopes and shattered dreams. In her search for answers, Sarah stumbled upon the hotel's library, a vast room lined with dusty books and forgotten manuscripts. In the center, a large tome lay open on a reading stand, its pages filled with the history of the Meridian Hotel, from its opulent beginnings to its gradual decline into darkness. The book seemed to be a living entity itself, its pages turning independently, revealing the secrets the hotel had absorbed over the years. Drawn to the tome, Sarah read of the hotel's founders, a mysterious group with ties to arcane practices who sought eternal life and power through ritualistic sacrifices, using the hotel as a cover for their dark ceremonies. The more she read, the more the hotel's maze-like structure made sense. It was designed not just as a place of lodging, but as a giant ritual chamber, channeling the life force of its guests to feed the insatiable hunger of its creators. The whispers returned, now guiding Sarah through the hidden passages and secret rooms of the hotel, each step uncovering the layers of corruption that had seeped into the very foundations of the building. The night grew darker. The boundary between the physical hotel and the spectral world it bridged, becoming blurred. Sarah's journey led her deeper into the heart of the hotel, to a room not listed on any floor plan where the true source of the Meridian's curse awaited, its door slightly ajar, a sliver of unnatural light seeping through the crack, hinting at the eldritch power within. Sarah approached the door, the whispers now a deafening cacophony in her mind, urging her forward. She pushed the door open, revealing a room that defied the laws of physics larger on the inside than the entire hotel seemed from the outside. Its walls pulsed with a sickly light, veins of darkness creeping across them like the roots of some malevolent tree. In the center of the room was a heart-like organ, massive and throbbing, each beat sending ripples of dark energy throughout the hotel. Around it, the air shimmered with the trapped souls of the guests, their faces contorted in eternal agony, bound to the heart by ethereal chains. Sarah realized that this heart was the source of the hotel's corruption, the nexus of the founder's dark rituals, drawing on the pain and suffering of its victims to feed their quest for power. The room a sanctum of sorcery and sacrifice was where the hotel's true nature was concentrated, its walls inscribed with the sigils and symbols of the arcane practices that had imbued the building with its malevolent life force. The heart pulsed faster, sensing Sarah's presence, its dark energy lashing out like tentacles seeking to add her to its collection of souls. Sarah dodged the tendrils, her mind racing for a way to destroy the heart and free the trapped spirits. As she evaded the heart's assaults, her eyes caught the sight of an ancient artifact, placed atop a pedestal and surrounded by a barrier of light. The whispers in her mind clarified 
revealing that the artifact was key to ending the hotel's curse. A relic infused with the power to sever the heart's connection to the physical world. Gathering her resolve, Sarah sprinted towards the artifact, the heart's tendrils in close pursuit, thrashing violently to protect itself. She reached the barrier of light, her hands passing through unharmed, the pure energy seemingly recognizing her intent. Grasping the artifact, Sarah felt a surge of power, the whispers coalescing into a clear voice, instructing her on how to use it. As the heart launched another assault, she turned, holding the artifact out before her. It glowed intensely, a beacon of hope amidst the darkness, its light piercing the gloom of the room. The heart writhed in pain, its beats growing erratic as the light from the artifact burned away its dark energy, severing the chains that bound the souls to it. The walls of the room cracked, the sigils fading as the hotel's stolen life force began to dissipate. Sarah, standing defiant in the face of the heart's desperation, prepared to strike the final blow, to destroy the heart and end the hotel's reign of terror. The room trembled on the brink of collapse, as the battle between light and darkness reached its climax, the fate of the Meridian Hotel hanging in the balance. The heart of the hotel, now exposed and vulnerable, pulsated wildly, its dark energy clashing against the radiant power of the artifact in Sarah's grasp. The room shook. The very foundation of the Meridian Hotel groaning as if in agony. The building's long history of suffering and malice unraveling in the face of its potential end. Sarah, fueled by a mix of fear and determination, focused the artifact's light on the heart, its beams cutting through the darkness like a knife. The heart's tendrils lashed out in a final, desperate attempt to defend itself, the air crackling with dark energy. As the battle intensified, the trapped souls circling the heart began to break free, their chains dissolving in the light of the artifact. They swirled around Sarah, their whispers now voices of encouragement and gratitude, aiding her in the struggle against the heart. The spectral figures of the hotel's founders appeared, their expressions twisted in horror and rage as they realized their creation, their legacy, was being destroyed. With each pulse of the artifact, the heart weakened, its surface cracking, revealing a core of pure darkness, a void that had fueled the hotel's curse. Sarah, pushing through the pain of the energy clash, directed the full power of the artifact towards this core. The light enveloping and penetrating the heart, searing away the darkness. The hotel structure began to crumble, the reality of the building warping and twisting as the heart's influence waned. The room the sanctum of the hotel's dark power started to collapse, the walls falling inwards, the sigils burning away in the light of the artifact. In the chaos, the freed souls ascended, their forms brightening, transcending the confines of the hotel. The founder's specters screamed in defeat, their forms disintegrating, consumed by the light their dark ambitions extinguished forever. Sarah, amidst the destruction, felt a calm clarity. She knew that the end of the heart would mean the end of the Meridian Hotel. Its physical form, unable to sustain, without the dark energy that had animated it, she braced herself. The 
artifact's light now overwhelming, obliterating the heart with a final, thunderous pulse. The narrative holds at this moment of cataclysm. The Meridian Hotel's fate sealed by the destruction of its dark heart. The building collapsing into oblivion. The aftermath of this final confrontation. The legacy of the hotel's darkness and the future of its liberated souls remains to be seen. The story of the Meridian hanging in the balance, awaiting its final chapter. As the heart of the Meridian Hotel shattered under the artifact's relentless light, the entire structure convulsed in its death throes. The cavernous room disintegrated, the fabric of the hotel's reality tearing apart, creating a vortex of wind and debris. The dark core of the heart now exposed, emitted a final scream of defiance before dissolving into nothingness, its destruction marking the end of the hotel's cursed existence. Sarah shielded herself from the chaos, the artifact's light forming a protective bubble around her. The hotel around her began to fade, its physical form collapsing into spectral remnants. The once opulent halls and shadowed rooms dissolving into mist. The freed souls of the hotel's victims, now luminous and serene, converged around Sarah, their presence offering a sense of peace and closure. They whispered their thanks, their voices a gentle chorus in the tumultuous silence left by the heart's destruction. One by one, they ascended, their forms disappearing into the ether, finally released from the shackles of the Meridian's dark legacy. As the hotel's ruinous form vanished, Sarah found herself standing in an empty field, the dawn breaking on the horizon, casting soft light on a landscape where the Meridian Hotel once stood. The artifact in her hand dimmed its purpose fulfilled, becoming a simple, inert relic. The Meridian, with all its pain and horror, was no more, erased from the physical world, but its memory lingered, a cautionary tale of ambition and cruelty unchecked. Sarah, the witness to its final moments, felt an overwhelming sense of exhaustion and relief. The burden she had carried, the weight of the hotel's dark past, had lifted, yet the experience would forever mark her. The field where the hotel once dominated was now just a part of the quiet countryside. The horrors it contained finally at rest, but as Sarah turned to leave, a chill wind stirred the grass, carrying a faint whisper a lingering echo of the Meridian. It was a reminder that while the hotel itself was gone, the story of what happened within its walls, the tales of those who suffered and those who caused the suffering would endure. Sarah walked away from the field, the first rays of sunrise warming her face, contemplating the ordeal she had endured. The Meridian Hotel was destroyed, its secrets and shadows dispersed, but the impact of its existence, the lessons of its rise and fall, remained. The narrative holds here, with the Meridian Hotel no longer a physical threat, but its spectral legacy enduring, a haunting memory in the landscape of the town's history and in the mind of the one who witnessed its end. The story of the Meridian is complete in its destruction, yet open in the mysteries and memories it leaves behind, a testament to the enduring power of stories to haunt, mourn, and remember. As Sarah walked away from the field where the Meridian Hotel once stood, 
The silence of the morning was broken by the soft murmur of the wind, carrying with it not just the remnants of the hotel's memory, but also the stirrings of something unresolved. A thread of the story yet to be fully unraveled. She paused, a sense of unease creeping over her, the tranquility of the dawn marred by a subtle undercurrent of disquiet. Turning back, Sarah scanned the empty field, her eyes catching a faint shimmer in the air, like heat haze where the hotel's entrance had been. The shimmer grew more pronounced, coalescing into a translucent figure, a woman dressed in the garb of the hotel's early days. Her expression, one of sorrow and regret, the figure beckoned to Sarah, her voice a whisper carried on the breeze, urging her to listen, to understand the deeper truth of the meridian. Compelled by the spectral apparition, Sarah approached, the air around the shimmering figure growing colder, the whispers of the past echoing louder in her ears. The ghostly woman spoke of hidden chapters in the hotel's history, of her own role in the tragic events that had unfolded. She was the wife of the hotel's architect, a man who had been seduced by the dark cult that funded the hotel's construction, unknowingly designing a conduit for malevolent forces. Her attempts to save him had led to her untimely death, her spirit trapped within the hotel, bound to witness the suffering and horror her husband's creation facilitated. With the hotel's physical destruction, her spirit was freed, but the architect's soul was still bound to the remnants of the entity, lost in the netherworld created by the hotel's dark rituals. She pleaded with Sarah to help find and release him, to sever the last ties of the Meridian's legacy and allow both their spirits to find peace. Sarah, moved by the woman's tale, felt the weight of responsibility settle upon her once more. The Meridian's destruction had not been the end, but a doorway to a final act, a mission to rescue the lost soul of the architect and untangle the last of the dark threads woven by the hotel's existence. As the apparition faded, leaving behind a faint glow that marked the threshold to the netherworld, Sarah knew her journey was not yet complete. Armed with the knowledge and power she had gained from confronting the hotel's heart, she prepared to step into the unknown, to navigate the shadowy realm created by the Meridian's corruption and bring closure to its tragic tale. The narrative pauses here, with Sarah on the cusp of another descent into darkness, her path leading not through haunted hallways, but into the very fabric of the hotel's cursed legacy, a journey to mend the final fracture in the Meridian's broken history. Stepping into the glow left by the apparition, Sarah felt the world around her shift, the serene dawn of the countryside giving way to a twilight realm, a shadowy echo of the Meridian Hotel. This netherworld, woven from the remnants of the hotel's dark legacy, was a labyrinth of memories and nightmares, a place where the past lived and breathed. The landscape mirrored the hotel's grandeur and decay, buildings and gardens suspended in a perpetual dusk their forms shifting between moments of time. Sarah navigated this surreal terrain, guided by the lingering presence of the architect's wife, her whispers a beacon in the shifting shadows. As she moved deeper into the realm, the air thickened with the echoes of past events. Ghostly figures 
actors reenacting scenes of joy and horror. Their actions repetitive, like a looped recording. Among these specters, Sarah searched for the architect. His soul, a lost spark in the vast darkness of the Meridian's legacy. The journey was fraught with challenges, as if the netherworld itself resisted her presence. Pathways twisted and contorted, leading her astray and spectral inhabitants of the realm. Manifestations of the hotel's corrupted history confronted her, their forms twisted by the entity's influence. Amidst this chaos, Sarah found clues to the architect's fate. His essence bound to the core of the netherworld, held captive by the remnants of the entity that the Meridian had served. His captivity was both a punishment and a power source. His architectural genius twisted to continuously reshape and sustain the shadowy realm. Determined to free the architect and untangle the final threads of the Meridian's dark tapestry, Sarah pressed on. Her resolve hardening against the netherworld's malevolence, her journey led her to the heart of the realm, a grandiose version of the hotel, its facade shimmering with an ethereal light, the epicenter of the architects and the entity's combined power. Inside, the hotel was alive with the memories of its past, halls and rooms shifting and changing, replaying the events that had led to its downfall. In the deepest part of this phantom hotel, Sarah found the architect, his form suspended in a chamber of light and shadow. His spirit caught in an endless cycle of creation and destruction, a living battery for the netherworld's existence. The confrontation with the remnants of the entity a shadow of its former self, yet still potent in this realm, was inevitable. It manifested as a distortion in the air, a presence of pure darkness, facing Sarah with the full weight of its wrath and despair. The narrative holds at this precipice of confrontation, with Sarah poised to battle the vestiges of the entity and free the architect's soul her actions the key to unraveling the last secrets of the Meridian Hotel, and restoring peace to the tortured spirits entwined with its history. In the heart of the Netherworld's Meridian Hotel, Sarah faced the entity's remnant, its form a swirling mass of darkness, emanating malice and despair. The air around it crackled with the stolen energies of the hotel's tortured history, the very atmosphere thick with the cries of souls it had consumed. Armed with the knowledge gained from the apparition of the architect's wife and the power of the artifact, Sarah confronted the entity, her resolve as strong as the light that had once shattered the hotel's physical heart. She understood now that this shadowy realm and the entity's existence were sustained by the architect's endless cycle of creation and destruction. His genius exploited to architect a prison of perpetual torment. The battle that ensued was less a physical confrontation and more a clash of wills and power. Sarah used the artifact to channel the light of released souls crafting it into a weapon that pierced the darkness of the entity's form. Each strike weakened the entity, unraveling the fabric of the netherworld, the hotel's phantom structure groaning and flickering with each assault. The entity fought back with visions of horror, attempting to trap Sarah in an endless nightmare, to break her spirit and add her strength to its own, but Sarah's will, 
fortified by the spirits of those the hotel had wronged, resisted, turning the entity's own power against it. As the struggle intensified, the architect's form became more distinct, his spirit awakening within the netherworld's core, drawn to the conflict. His presence began to stabilize the realm. The looping memories and twisted realities converging towards a singular point in time. The moment of the hotel's original sin. The ritual that had bound the entity to the physical world and set the course of its dark legacy. Sarah, seizing the moment, directed the full force of the artifact's light into the heart of the entity. While calling out to the architect, urging him to break the cycle, to reclaim his will and help end the nightmare, the combined force of Sarah's actions and the architect's awakening consciousness struck the final blow. The entity, its form disintegrating under the assault, unleashed a final desperate wave of darkness, a tide of sorrow and rage that threatened to overwhelm Sarah and drag her into the abyss with it. The netherworld trembled, the phantom Meridian Hotel starting to collapse as the battle reached its crescendo, the outcome hanging in the balance, the fate of the netherworld and its captives undecided. The narrative holds here at the peak of the climactic battle, with Sarah and the architect's spirit united against the dying fury of the entity, the resolution of their struggle poised to either liberate or doom the remnants of the Meridian Hotel's dark past. As the entity's wave of darkness surged towards her, Sarah felt the architect's spirit intertwine with her own, lending her the strength and knowledge needed to withstand the assault. The artifact in her hand blazed with light, casting illumination that cut through the shadow, creating a beacon in the engulfing darkness. Together, Sarah and the architect channeled the pain, suffering, and memories absorbed by the Meridian Hotel into the artifact, transforming it into a conduit for redemption and release. The light emanating from it grew brighter, its radiance consuming the entity's form, breaking it down, dissolving its essence into nothingness. The Netherworld's Meridian Hotel, a construct of the entity's making, began to crumble as its master waned. The walls, floors, and ceilings decayed rapidly, disintegrating into dust, revealing the skeletal framework of the true hotel, the core of its cursed existence. As the battle reached its zenith, the entity, now a mere shadow of its former self, made a final desperate attempt to survive. It pulled at the remnants of the darkness within the netherworld, trying to rebuild itself, but its efforts were in vain. The combined will of Sarah and the architect, fortified by the power of the artifact and the liberated souls, was overwhelming. With a defiant cry, Sarah directed the last of the light towards the entity, obliterating it in a cataclysmic explosion of energy, the blast tore through the netherworld, eradicating the last vestiges of the entity's presence and shattering the bounds of the shadowy realm. In the aftermath, the netherworld faded, the echoes of the Meridian Hotel's dark past dissipating like mist at dawn. Sarah found herself standing in the field where the hotel had once loomed. The early morning light, warm and comforting, the land peaceful, as if it had never been touched by the hotel's corruption. The architect's spirit, 
freed from the eternal cycle of creation and destruction, appeared before Sarah. His expression, one of gratitude and relief. With a nod of acknowledgement and a gentle smile, he faded away. His release, a silent testament to the end of the Meridian Hotel's haunting legacy. Breathing heavily, Sarah looked around the reality of her surroundings settling in. The field was quiet. The only sound, the gentle rustling of the grass in the breeze. The artifact, its light extinguished, lay inert in her hand, its purpose fulfilled. The narrative holds at this moment of calm after the storm. With Sarah alone in the field, the battle ended and the spirits at rest. The Meridian Hotel, its physical and spectral forms obliterated, now existed only in memory, its tale of horror concluded. Yet, the silence of the field seemed to whisper of secrets yet untold, of stories hidden in the shadows of history, waiting for the right moment to be revealed. In the tranquil field, where the Meridian Hotel once cast its ominous shadow, Sarah stood alone, the early morning sun breaking the horizon, casting light on a new day free of the hotel's dark legacy. The artifact, now just a piece of inert stone, lay in her hand, its purpose served, its power spent. The silence of the dawn was a stark contrast to the night's terrors. The field around her, empty and serene, yet in that silence, there was a profound sense of closure. The spirits that had been trapped in the hotel's cycle of suffering were now free. Their whispers of pain and fear, replaced by a peaceful quiet that spoke of rest and release. Sarah, her role as the unintended liberator of the Meridian's lost souls complete, felt a weight lift from her shoulders. The night's events, though harrowing, had ended the cycle of darkness that the hotel had perpetuated for so long. The entity that had fueled the Meridian's horrors was gone, its power destroyed, its influence erased from the world. Looking at the field one last time, Sarah sensed no remnants of the malevolent force that once dwelt there. The land was just land again. Its connection to the otherworldly severed, the scars of the past healed by the light of the new day. With a final reflective glance at the empty field, Sarah turned away walking towards the road that led back to the town, the sun's rays warming her back, guiding her home. In her mind, the memories of the night would linger, a stark reminder of the thin veil between the ordinary and the extraordinary, between peace and torment. The story of the Meridian Hotel ended not with lingering horror with liberation and a return to normalcy. The hotel, once a beacon of suffering and darkness, was now just a chapter in the town's history. Its physical form and spectral presence dissolved into legend. Sarah's encounter with the Meridian would become a part of her, a testament to her strength and courage a harrowing adventure that few would believe, yet one that had changed the essence of her being. She had faced the darkness, fought against it, and emerged victorious. Her actions ensuring that the Meridian Hotel would no longer haunt the living or the dead. The narrative concludes here, with the dawn marking the end of the Meridian's reign of terror and the beginning of Sarah's journey back to a world less shadowed by the past. Her story, a beacon of hope and courage, 
in the face of the unknown and the unfathomable.